What's going on YouTube? Welcome back. We are back with another uh, video. Um, being pretty consistent here lately. As you can see, we got the motor out. We are still working on the car a little bit. Um, got some things to do here and there on it. Uh, over the last few days, I've been working off camera just for the simple fact of, yeah, got some of the interior back in. Um, let me show you what I got. So, um, last video I showed y'all, I got the parachute finally put in, thank God. Um, we got this mounted, uh, and yeah, we've been working on the interior. Got most of it put in, got a lot of the wiring done. Um, a lot of this stuff has already been bench tested. Uh, everything works. I left the battery on, great. Um, got the battery hooked up. Let's see. Got it hooked up, got it run up to the front. Uh, got the relay panel hooked up also. As y'all can see, I got the positive wire. Actually did a douche connector to the um, switch panel. So we did that. Let me show y'all what I did as far as ground. Um, man, I don't know. But needless to say, I, I nut started it into the uh, floorboard, grounded it off. Everything works. It's grounded off. It's ready to be plugged in. Um, this is, I'm probably gonna have to shorten this a little bit, but it is what it is. Um, I've test fitted the center console. <laughs> Either one, we have to do some trimming or two, we ain't gonna be running the center console. So might actually uh, try custom build one or something. I don't know. Haven't really looked into it. Don't really care. Uh, let's see. I still have to work on, oh yeah. I ended up mounting the the um lights, turn signals and everything to the panel itself. Um riveted it into the panel and it it's bolted down. Uh so what we can do is we can actually run the plug on the output harness back through here and it'll fit. And if we gotta run any outputs, we can run them there or anywhere we need to run them. So we got that done. Um, still got to work on running other wires. Uh, I think I'm going to actually end up running all of the turn signals and everything off to the driver's side instead of coming up through this hole because we're going to have enough coming through there. We're going to have our, uh, wastegate, all, all the wastegate stuff's going to be coming through there. We're going to be running it just sensors, everything like that. Uh, so yeah, that's why I've been working off on, working on off camera. Um, got it fairly cleaned up. Need to put the tag back on. Uh, next thing I need to do is I need to work on getting a uh, tie down for the battery so it can be legal. I'm probably going to end up having to get a bulkhead, firewall, whatever, uh, before something gets said to me. But yeah. So that's what I've been working on, and uh, let's get started on what we're going to be doing today. So yeah, uh, today is the day, finally. Uh, I've been waiting for a couple weeks now, just get gathering parts, man. That's all we've been doing, gathering parts. We're going to be putting the motor back together. Uh, let me show you all what I got. So this is what we got. Um, look at everything. We ended up having to get a new oil pan. Uh, we believe that's the reason why uh, we spun number one rod right there, and it's because we probably cavitated the oil pan. Oil coming back, didn't get no oil to it. Number one rod right there, and it's the first one to bite the dust. So uh, let's go over everything we got here. But that's that's one of the items we got. 
So like I just got done saying, we got a new oil pump. Uh, not oil pump. We got a new uh, oil pan. We're not going to be actually be able to put this one on today um, during this video. Uh, just because of the simple fact I got a bung on the way. I got everything to hook up to the turbo. We actually got a new valley cover. Uh, nice ICT billet valley cover. Um, got a new one of those. I thought I was going to be able to use the other one. No, I was wrong. I could have used the stock one, but why not? Got two sets of uh, water pump gaskets. Just for the simple fact of when we put the motor plate on, we got a sandwich it between the uh, water pump. Got front, rear timing cover gaskets. I'm gonna return. Ah, I'm gonna replace the the uh, rear main seal. I got my LS9 head gaskets. These are all I run on the six O's. So I get all my stuff from L Acceleration as far as gaskets go. Um, that's all I've, I've been using them for years. Ever since I had my fifth gen, um, got us a nice uh, oil pan gasket. We got same cam, different motor. Lifter trays, got my lifters, got my GPI heads. We're still gonna be running those. Um, got my Holly intake. Uh, oh yeah, since it's Gen three motor and cam sensor goes in the back, we just went ahead and ordered us a plug, nice little plug. So. We'll be able to use that in the future for anything. Um, we are going to be reusing the 4X timing gear uh, with the 24X tooth reluctor. We're going to, I'm going to have Dakota change all of that up in the holly so we can fire it off. Um, same timing cover, oil pump. Um, but yeah, so uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. I've got to take out the two bottom ones. So I can put the dowel pins in and uh, we can go ahead and, well, actually, I still got to do that. But we're going to start with the cam. We're going to get it in time and get her ready. So that's what we're going to do. All right. So first thing that we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and loop this thing up. I'd rather be safe than sore. Alright, so now that we got the cam in, uh I got all that assembly lube on me. So um next thing we're gonna go ahead and do uh probably gonna go ahead and put the lifters in and go ahead and get those set. That way uh we can go ahead and start putting the timing gear and everything on. <clears throat> I failed to mention earlier that I do have a retainer plate. If you don't if you reuse these you're wild. Uh I stopped dropping it. So, uh, yeah, I always re get one of these, like 10 bucks on Amazon. So, we're going to put the retainer plate in and torque it down. I think it's like 15 inch pounds for these star bits. Uh, I got the recessed ones because I think they look cleaner. I ain't like you're going to see it, but it is what it is. So, uh, I'm going to actually make sure I look up the torque spec so I can get these right. It's not something you want to mess up on, guys. So that's what I'm going to do. And we're going to put the cam retainer plate in and put the cam gear on and line it up. I have to put the motor in top dead center. I got to get the hoist to lift it up some because I still got the flywheel on. And it's hitting one of the legs on the um, bell housing piece. So that's what I'm going to do. Go ahead, retainer plate. Get lifted up so I can turn it over. All right, just to verify the timing, and I just want to show y'all. I mean, everything's good. Um, also, we got the lifter trays put in. Um, as you saw, we got them. We got the bolts torqued down. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, I still need to torque these bolts down, but I wanted to be able to turn the cam. So, two dots are lined up. 
we got that taken care of uh but yeah she's uh top dead center now guys slowly but surely getting everything taken care of i mean there's some there's some wear on the cylinders but i mean i trust it. at least we're gonna go at least 15 pounds with it i'm going to torque these bolts down make sure it's in time uh put the timing chain on and uh we should be good start putting everything on i'm excited get head gaskets on put the heads on we'll, we'll be rocking and rolling guys so i'm going to continue to do that get these torqued down and uh we'll put the put the head gaskets on and start putting the heads on well guys as you can tell i've got the heads on uh they're not bolted down or nothing <laughs> we're fixing to get started on that um got the oil pump on just simple shit so uh we're gonna be having oil pressure here soon so uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put you on a time lapse and start bolting these heads down what i tend to bolt them down to is 25 50 and uh 80 pounds so uh that's what i'm gonna do uh get these bolted down i got the head gaskets on uh we're getting close getting close to being done with this motor for today anyway um so yeah we put y'all on time lapse and uh get So we got the got the heads bolted down, torqued down. Um, I'm gonna be working on putting on the rockers. Um, 25 foot pounds, no impact. Ask me how I know. Yeah. So uh, ran the issues last. Uh, yeah, might as well say last last racing season. Uh, stripped the thread and the uh, thread in the head. So. Uh, just for those of y'all sloppy mechanics, talk the damn things. Learn from experience. So uh, I'm gonna work on getting this done. Uh, starting to slowly finish this motor up. Uh, got a few more things left to do. Uh, then uh, probably, it's gonna be a few days for me, like one clip for y'all. Uh, I'm going to take my oil pan, well I'll show y'all before I turn to the next clip of the get welded. Uh, I gotta take the oil pan to Dakota, I'm gonna get him to weld up the uh, return oil bump. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna torque up these rocker arms and uh, finish putting this motor together. Well guys, that's gonna do it for this part of the video. Um, ended up having to go get a gasket. 
got this uh, valley cover put on and we got our little plug put in so uh, that's the way she sits for right now um, until we get the uh, oil pan bone put in so y'all see that in the next clip so uh, y'all see that in three two one And that, uh, and like that, we got our uh, oil pan. Got the fitting dash 12, like it's supposed to be on there. Gotta take that off. So, uh, yeah, this is gonna wrap it up for the video for the most part. We got, <coughs> dang, um, we gotta clean up the uh, surface right here, get it all nice and smooth, and put the gasket on. Um, we ended up putting the stock F body tray back in. Uh, we got, I got to tighten that back up. Uh, we got the oil pickup tube on it. We had to clearance it a little bit on the corner, but for the most part, it goes on in. Um, I'll tighten that up, clean up that. And uh, another thing with this uh, pan, they make a kit. <laughs> um, I didn't. I guess I didn't pay that much attention to it, but uh, they use socket cap bolts. You got M8 and M6. M6 is for the back that goes through the rear main uh, cover. Um, if you don't get the kit with the bolts, you'll have to order some. They do use the regular ones uh, that come off the stock oil pans, but the rear ones. Cause they go through all, go all the way through the oil pan. They're long as fuck. So, uh, yeah, I am going to clean that up, tighten down the oil pickup tube, and uh, put the gasket on so we can actually flip this back up, get it off the engine stand, and so I can replace the rear main seal. But that's gonna be a wrap for this video, guys. Uh, hope you like it. Um, we got the motor all ready. Uh, so next thing up is, uh, we're going to be slapping the motor in next video. So, yeah, and as you can see, I've been working off camera. Got my headlights. We're starting to get it put in. Uh, yeah. Got the nice little connector right there mounted. So if I ever have to take them out or take the wiring out or something i can just uh just disconnect it so yeah that's gonna be a wrap for this video hit that like button if you like it uh we'll uh be continuing on um if you ain't subscribed want to see more camaro content uh just hit that subscribe button got any comments comment down below and uh we'll see you next one